All right, back to our weather headlines. There's two things happening. Some extreme cold and also a storm. There, there you go. You got them in the right order as well. First, it's going to be the cold, KJ. And right now, it's already setting up. It's 24. Feels like 18 with the winds. Now, you wake up tomorrow morning. It's 12. It feels like 0 to 5 below in New York City. Some places north and west could be feeling 15, 20 degrees below zero. You max out at 20 degrees in the city. Warmest reading anywhere, Tom's River at 26. We're all sub freezing tomorrow taking a peek at the storm that we're watching it's here in the midsection of the country now it's going to travel just like these arrows so here is this is the key to the storm if you are on the right hand side of its path you're going to get you'll get rain if you're on the left hand side of its path that's the cold side of the storm you get the snow and that's why all the watches and the warnings are on the left hand side of the line so if this whole line think about this if it pushes farther out into the ocean then we all have a chance to see big snow out of it. If it pushes farther to the west, well, then we would all be on the rainier side of it and it would just be rain for our area. I think as of right now, it's going to really split our area in two. So we'll go from snow to rain for most of us. The, the coast really gets little, if any, snow at all. North and west, I still think you're picking up the most snow for our area. And wind is an issue for everybody. 40, 50 mile per hour gust, the type of wind that can cause damage tomorrow getting into Monday. So here comes our storm. Remember, watch where the center of circulation is. It's this little red dot right here. Right hand side of it, you're getting rain. The rain snow line right around the city. So I think the most likely time for the city itself to see some snow would be on the onset of the storm as it's moving in. All right, then that snow line or the rain snow line starts to push up to the north by 5 a.m. The city has already turned over to rain. There's your center of circulation. Again, it's inland. If you were looking and rooting for a big storm, you need that center of circulation to be offshore. And eventually it pushes up to the north and east by, say, by noon on Monday. Even some of that rain now pushing well north as well. But I do think some of the areas north of the city will hold on to snow. So you're looking at the possibility for a half a foot or more in some areas. Three to six as you get closer to the city. I think the city is in either a, a trace to one or maybe the northern portion of the city could be in a one to three. That's the way we see it. Also, keep in mind, coastal flooding is an issue. Flood watches and advisories because the tide, high tide, right? Onshore flow with that wind plus a big, uh, plus a big full moon gives you maybe two, three feet above average. Here's what I've got for you. 20 degrees and cold tomorrow. 33 Sunday, but the story Sunday will be late. The storm doesn't arrive until after sunset. Then we deal with it through the overnight into Monday. Monday side about 42. And then after that, temperatures go back down. But we're really kind of calm after that Monday storm. Guys, that's the way we see this one. It's all yours. Okay, Lonnie, thank you.